60,000 rupees. Okay? And if I had to buy this shoe for some reason, you know, this 300 rupees shoes, that I would never have you know, come and told you that this 300 rupees shoes I am wearing. Right? Now all these are very simple things. Once you understand that the physical facilities are not the source of getting respect, and they are the source of ensuring, nurturing, protection and right utilization of the body. <coughs> and many things start falling in place. Similarly about the relationship and other things. So, <coughs> it's true that once we have this, and I am calling that as development, that instead of just having this, if I had this, this and this, right, this is development. And this development has to be ensured through right education and sanskar. So we are not saying go backward, we are saying go forward. You are stuck here. Right? Sticking here will not, you know, make sure your happiness and prosperity. It's good that you have come up to this place. Now you have to go forward. And this going forward will mean ensuring right understanding, right feeling, and then physical facility for all you know, human being. So it is true. It has to go through the education and system to everyone. And I must also remind that this is, and which I have already made this comment, but I will repeat, that this is no magic. No changes are going to take place overnight. Okay. So don't have that misconception. Okay. Everyone of, has, of us has to start working on our own self. Right? And if we start really working on our own self, mm -hmm. past and then three things through this process of self-exploration, which results into this understanding part. If that happens, then things will start improving. So it is going to be a certainly a you know, process which really needs your you know, uh, kind of effort, a sincere effort to investigate into yourself, then work with yourself, you know, with all this you know, accumulation that you have. And then, if you have the clarity, then reflect it in terms of your relationship, in terms of your need of physical facility, in terms of the production of physical facility. So all that time, you know, and effort is required. So we should not also have a you know, feeling that it is all very simple, you know. You can let the course and everything changes over now. You know, it depends on how much you invest yourself you know, in this process of self-exploration, how sincerely you take, you know, to work with your relationship, with your, you know, work and, you know, physical facility. All that has to be done. But then, it is essential to do it. Thank you. Um, my question is, uh, Uh, my question is with regard to uh, being harmony in family. Um, uh, I get a feeling that uh, as far as uh, we achieve harmony in family, I think uh, we can achieve uh, harmony in society because it is uh, we are dealing with uh, the other uh, uh, on this side. But what is important here is uh, uh, ideally we know that I want to make myself happy and I want to make others happy. And then uh, I expect uh, respect, uh, it's not respect, but uh, the, I think we know that uh, intention is, uh, intention in all is uh, uh, good, but uh, it's the competence is uh, part. So uh, it is individual's responsibility to access your competencies and to uh, evaluate others' competencies, and based on that we uh, 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 very well program. So uh, this part I'm finding it very difficult. So um, uh, uh, is there any proposal from Guruji that it, is there an easy tool to uh, easy tool uh, so that we can uh, measure measure or evaluate our competencies very easily and then measure the competencies of others uh, uh, easily because I think. Uh, this is the, what matters to uh, frame our program uh, properly. Otherwise, if we go wrong here, then everything will go wrong. 
is there an easy easy ways to under uh, easy ways to evaluate the competencies of both some and others? See, I mean, there is no easy way. Okay. That's what I was mentioning for this. But then it is not very difficult also. <laughs> if you go with this clarity that you have made some evaluation of yourself and some evaluation of the other, you know, in terms of the competence, and then you are making this program with that evaluation. Now, if you keep yourself open, right, that this evaluation may be right, may not be right, okay? So, I, you continuously, you know, update yourself. If you keep this openness, then it is very easy. Why it is difficult? If you look at that, it is difficult because a <coughs> lot of this is accumulated here. in you and in the other, right? And that is what is deciding your competence. Your accumulation of desire, thought and expectation, right, is what is deciding your competence. Now what is happening is that you are not aware of your desire, thought and expectation. You are not aware of the desire, thought and expectation of the other. And he himself is also not aware. Therefore, it is making it difficult. Okay. If I really become aware of myself, right, my desire, thought and expectation, right, then I will be able to evaluate my competence. <coughs> Similarly, if the other is aware of himself, he will be able to make evaluation of his competence. If I can get some idea about this from the other person, then I can evaluate his competence. Generally, whatever is expressed by him is what I get from him, right? And then I tend to evaluate this competence of his on the basis of this, what is expressed by him. This may not be, you know, the whole of this. That is why when you do this evaluation and make this some program, you find that it is not working or it is not working as well as you thought. Because it might be because you have not evaluated your competence properly or because the other person is not expressive enough to help you to evaluate his competence. So in that sense it is difficult. And the other person may not even be aware of it, his desire, thought and expectation. So in that sense it is a little difficult to do. But then what is good about it is, you know, and that's in simple is, that I can start with this openness, number one. Number two, when it comes to what I have to do in my relationship, this is definite. <coughs> okay. So I might, I know I may start with this rather than, you know, <coughs> trying to evaluate my competence and his competence and then deciding the program. If I am clear about this, right, and this becomes a part of my competence, and then I start working with this, one thing is sure, this is going to be fulfilling in relationship for me and for the other. So this much I can be sure immediately. But then lot of it is accumulated from past, and if I am not aware of it, it might get very active sometime, right? And you may start you know, reacting or responding on the basis of that. So that accident is likely to take place. So I have to keep myself very alert. And that is what I am saying. I have to be aware of myself every moment. This every moment is required because if any of those desire, thought and expectation which are there sitting in me and which I am not even aware of it, if any of them get activated because of some you know, external input, then I might act on the basis of that. So you all think that you know it's good to you know have this feeling of respect and you know, feeling of trust and feeling of affection and you are managing this okay, and suddenly something happens and you get angry. Right? 
Now you think, you know, what has happened? I was so good, you know, thinking of all this, and suddenly this anger has come. Right? But if you look at this, you know, into yourself, you will realize that some preconditioning you had, which said that you can allow something up to this and not beyond this. So if you are saying, if your friend is saying something, you will not mind. Right? But if your peon is saying the same thing, you will think that this is cross the boundary. Because we have presumed that a friend can say this, but not the peon. Right? So if the peon is saying, if the chaprasi is saying, you will think it's shedding too much. Right? <laughs> Why is that has happened? Because we have this preconditioning sitting in you. And you are not aware of it. Right? You are not equating him to be a human being. We have already differentiated him from your friend you know, as Chaprasi. And we have presumed that the Chaprasi cannot talk like this. Therefore, when the friend is saying, you are able to manage yourself. Okay, you know, respect, interest, and things like that. But when the Chaprasi is saying, you think this is getting too much. <laughs> and therefore, you get angry. All that awareness is required. Every moment. Because any moment you are not able to do it, you are finished. You work with this desire, thought and expectation which is there in you and which is getting active at that particular moment. So yes, it is a difficult task. You have to be first aware of yourself every moment. On the basis of that awareness you have to you know, evaluate your competence. Then you have to be aware of what the other is expressing. So you have to evaluate his competence on the basis of that. Right? Then make the program of action. And then keep yourself open. That this evaluation may or may not be correct. So you have to keep updating your evaluation. But as I said, the better thing to do is to start working on this, have this feeling, and then make this a part of your competence. Start working with that. That will make you comfortable, make others comfortable. This is a sure path. The other path of evaluating the computer and making the program, right, of whatever you is sitting, has a lot of, you know, risk involved. So you have to keep that openness there. Yes. Okay. So what I would do is, <coughs> I would then proceed with this thing. The remaining feeling and then some of this discussion on harmony in family and then see if there is any question on that. <coughs> so the last point we were discussing yesterday was this feeling of care and the feeling of guidance <coughs> and we said that this care and guidance is a natural outcome of the feeling of affection. So if I feel that the other is related to me or I am related to the other, then I will certainly feel responsible towards taking care of the body of my relative and taking care of the self of my relative. This taking care of the body of my relative is what is called as care. And then responsibility of taking care of the self of my relative is called guidance. And you can see that what I need to do to ensure care is nurturing and protection of the body. <coughs> and what I need to do to take care of the self is ensuring right understanding and right feeling in the self of the relative. So this is what we need to do. And I had asked you to find out whether you are taking care of both the care and the guidance part, or you are largely focusing on the care alone. No. Right. So what is the finding? Largely on the care. Yeah. Yes. So largely on the care. And you can see, every time we are asking this question, <laughs> what it boils down to is your assumption that you are the body. Right. And not the understanding that Human being is the coexistence of self, I and the body. So if you think you are the body, then you think physical facility is your neighbor. Right? 
therefore you think in terms of ensuring physical security for yourself. Right? Similarly, making it available for your children, right? for your family members. So everything is focused here. This part is completely undermined. When you understand that these two are there, <coughs> there is coexistence of the two, and that is how the human being is, then you will take care of the body, you will take care of the self. Then your whole approach will change. So that's what we have been mentioning every time. <coughs> so with this, <coughs> let's talk about this feeling of reverence, the feeling of glory, and finally the feeling of gratitude. This is projector lagai. Projector lagai sakte. Look at this, this feeling, this feeling of reverence. So, I have defined this reverence as feeling of acceptance or excellence. So feeling of acceptance or excellence. So, if I see excellence, right? in anyone, then I have an acceptance for this feeling. This feeling of acceptance for excellence is what is called reverence. So, we all want to achieve excellence. And if somebody has achieved this excellence, then we have an acceptance for this excellence. This acceptance for excellence is called reverence. <coughs> so, if you look at this, what is important is to find out what is excellence. So, if you look at what is excellence, this is what it is. Right? Understanding of the <coughs> harmony and living in harmony at all four levels, starting from self up to entire existence. So if I understand the harmony and I live in harmony, right? starting from individual, starting from the self in the individual, right? to family, to society and to nature and existence. This is what I need to do as a human being, right? To understand the harmony and to live in harmony. <coughs> Starting from self to entire existence. This is excellence. What do you think? This definition of excellence is correct. Because this is what I need to do as a human being, right? To understand the harmony and to live in harmony. Which essentially would be ensuring continuity of happiness. Right. This is excellence. You all want to achieve this excellence? And if anybody has this excellence, right, we will have an acceptance for this excellence in him. 
and that is what is meant by having a feeling of reverence. So this is the meaning of feeling of reverence. So let's look at this, this definition of excellence and then the definition of reverence. Right. Does it sound correct for you or not? And if this is correct for you, then a few observations can be made. First is that the excellence and the position are excellence and competition are not similar. <coughs> in excellence, one helps to bring the other to his level. In competition, he hinders the other from reaching to his level. In fact, if you remember, when we are talking about the respect, you know, we have discussed about this trying to become special. Right? When you are trying to become a special, that is where the competition is. Right? When it comes to excellence, I want to understand and live in harmony at each of these levels. Right? So I want to achieve excellence. If I have achieved excellence, will I work for achieving excellence in others? Or help others to achieve excellence? Or I will try to debar them from it. If I have this excellence in me, will I try to make sure that everybody has this excellence? Or I will hinder the other from reaching this level? He is like me. 
the level of competence in my own experience. So the respect will finally, you know, will reach to this excellence. Not a special. A special is all this problem you can see. It has a definite completion point. So this right understanding and right feeling or understanding of harmony and living in harmony has a definite completion point. Right? But when you are trying to become special, it is related. It is disrespect to the other, right? And it is always floating. No definite completion point is there. So you can decide, even in terms of physical facility, if you see that if you have to move from one place to the other, you might need a car. Right? But then you can decide that a particular kind of car is needed for making movement from this place to this place. That is definite. But if you are trying to get a better car than the other, then is it absolute or is it relative? Relative. So your Maruti attended, if your neighbor gets a you know, bigger car, now it has no you know, place as far as this is concerned. Here it may still have place, right? I have a friend in Tipu who constructed a house in his village. So he said, to, I, I said, you have been out for, you know, I have not seen you for months, where have you been? He says, I went to my village to construct my house. Oh, so that means you may have uh, constructed a nice house, I asked him. No, I have a big house. Any other houses can be accommodated in my house. <laughs> <laughs> so that was his sense. <laughs> so like Maruti and Pentel, you know. Yeah, and, and you know, if somebody makes a bigger house than him, <coughs> Then his house is gone, right? <laughs> so, this is the meaning of excellence. You, meaning of excellence. You keep mentioning this 800 Maruti. I've been very deprived because I have come in the Africa for 10 years. <laughs> no, now you must be prosperous. Now, now with this clarity, you will feel prosperous and you will also feel that you are responsible. You are making the right utilization. Rather than getting influenced by others, by way of this, what is working for the excellence? I know why this car is required for me. And I have it with me, right, as per the requirement. I can tell you one story, you know, to just to exemplify. Like one of my friends, you know, he came for this kind of workshop. And on the fifth day, he said that one of the achievements of this workshop has been that I have been able to save, you know, eight lakhs rupees. Mm. So he gave these details of what it is. He said, I have a car, right? It's city Honda car, right? which I use for going to my factory. You know, it's a job of printing. You know. go to the factory and come back from the factory. It is 10 kilometers from my house. So it takes me half an hour to go and half an hour to come back. Right? So, you know, sometime back one of my friends came from Delhi. And he was saying, what is this? You are still using this car. You know, the times have changed. Come to Delhi, I'll show you <laughs> another car. So he went and saw some car and he was impressed by it. And he decided to buy that car. 
But before going to buy that car, he happened to come for the workshop. <laughs> <laughs> and when he was in the workshop, he said, I could see that as far as this right utilization is concerned, right, this car is enough for me. 